I give it up to all of the girls that's been doing this makeup stuff for the longest. Y'all don't realize all of the work that goes into this. My camera didn't gave out on me about two or three times now, okay? And your girl getting fed up, but I'm committed. Your smile, your style is so fly. I can't deny I got a crush on you. That's true, dear. and I'm digging you. you make me believe your love. Hey, girls. So, you guys have asked for my pretty much my everyday makeup routine. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. My makeup tends to be high end and low end. So, if you want a complete high end makeup routine, let me know. Or if you want more of an affordable drugstore still giving you that it girl look then let me know as well but okay so i am jumping into this with a fresh face um i just got out the shower i don't have on any moisturizers no lip balm no nothing so um i don't know if i will do a detailed like separate skincare because i know this video may be pretty lengthy and i don't know if you guys want to sit and watch it all the way through so um, I will probably just do, I'll probably break it up into segments. I don't know yet. I'm gonna figure it out, but yeah. Okay, girl. Okay, so I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Smooth and Blur Primer all over as part of my base. And you don't need a lot. I'm gonna use about that much. And I'm going to spread it out. I'm mainly going to focus it in my T-zone and then just spread it out from there. Also, I did forget to mention when you apply your primers, you want to give your primer time to sit. Do not go in and immediately apply a product, a new product on top. As you can see, I'm apply, I've applied my product, but I'm going to move on to something else because I'm letting that primer sit in my skin to start the prep work. Do not immediately go in with your foundation. You need to figure out something else to do in the meantime, girl. So I'm just applying the concealer that I use under my brow to carve out my brows. I'm just applying that. Uh, over my lid and that's going to be my eyeshadow base now I'm going to take a sponge this sponge is dry it's by elf and I'm going to go ahead and pat that in to blend it out once that's blended out I like to go in with a large fluffy brush and set the concealer and I'm setting it with a translucent powder and I'm using a translucent powder by Makeup Revolution. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm now gonna go in and apply my True Match Lumi Glow Lotion all over. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this because of course the primer is already set. It has been well over five minutes because we did our brows. We're just going to rub this in and I absolutely love this L'Oreal's Lumi Lotion. I have been using it for years. It is such a beautiful glow. If you don't want to do makeup, like foundation and stuff, you can literally just apply that. Do a little bit of concealer, girl be out the door eyeshadow um i use a bronzer and the bronzer that i have been using lately is the covergirl uh covergirl bronzer in ebony this is the new formula the old formula is for all my makeup girls the old formula was really red however they changed the formula so this one can be used on an everyday basis but yes for shadow just go in with a bronzer and a fluffy brush girl and you're gonna be good Smile on my 
face when she texts back, said she don't want to play games. I respect that. No lies, man. I'm telling you the truth. Everything might be Okay, so the next thing you want to do is when you're doing your bronzer or if you're doing any type of um, transition shade, you want to make sure you really work that product into that eye bone right here. Do you see the difference? So if you suck at contouring, this is what's going to help you find the line to naturally contour your nose. So again, you want to make sure you work that product into that eye socket and then you're going to blend it out. And y'all, this is what the pro makeup artists use to give that perfect smashed nose or that perfect shadow blended out look. And y'all, if y'all are finding this video helpful, do not forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. So all of the girlies can be, like we can be hip together, girl. No gatekeeping, okay? No gatekeeping. But as you can see, I've already started to define where now it's showing my natural contour for my nose. And this is pretty much my everyday eyeshadow. Girls, so now that the eyeshadow is on, we're just gonna go ahead and move into foundation. The foundation I have been loving lately is the Estee Lauder Futuristic Skin Tint Serum. This skin tint is so freaking pretty, it's beautiful. If you have a lot of hyperpigmentation or you're trying to cover acne scars and things like that, you may not like her girl because she's on the thinner side. She's perfect for my natural girls they just like a little flush of color even skin on the go um if you need something with a bit more coverage and you want to look glam then you are going to love this double wear stay in place makeup when i say she is full coverage and she's absolutely beautiful she is beautiful hmm like, should I just stick to all Estee Lauder products? But I don't have their concealer. Estee Lauder, you see this? Send me, send, hook your girl up, okay? It's Too Faced foundation. I have been using it for a while now. So I'm gonna take about that much. And we are going to apply this foundation to the outer portions of my face only. Take this NYX. Um, flat kabuki brush, angle kabuki, and we are going to work that in. Y'all, do y'all see how pretty this is? Look at that. She's pretty, so pretty. The coverage is good. And again, foundation to the only, only the outer portions of the face. You do not need to apply it to the center of the face. If you wanna pull it into your ear, you can, especially if your ears are showing. And if you have any spots where you need more coverage, you can go in and apply a second layer or you can color correct. Um, I do not color correct on an everyday basis, which is why I didn't do it in this video. Um, however, if you want a video on how I color correct with foundation, then just let me know and I will get that posted for you. So now that the foundation is on, I then go in with my concealer. So I'm going to use two different concealers and I'm going to stick to the Too Faced line, even for the concealers. So I'm going to use, so for the foundation, I am in the color Maple. And for the concealer, I'm gonna use Butterscotch and Cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Butterscotch first because that's going to be the concealer that's going to basically hide any imperfection. Because I have lines under here, I don't pull it all the way up. I just keep it under that line and you don't need a lot okay so I'm gonna drag it down here and we're gonna leave it there you can apply a little bit there but we're gonna do about that much now while this concealer sits let's hop into contouring my black opal 
I have been loving this contour, this foundation stick as a contour. And I use my contour in the color Suede Mocha. She looks like that. I literally apply my like right where my hairline is, where it ends at, which is right there. So apply the contour there. Now to contour my jawline to define it, tilt your head over to the side, look in your mirror, and that's going to help you find your jawline, especially if you have a fatter face. So I'm going to apply that contour right under that jawline. If you have a double chin, you can do the same thing, girl. You're gonna tuck your face in like this. There you go. Tilt your head over. There you go. Same thing. Head. So we're gonna apply a little bit there and a little bit there. Now, for my nose contour, I'm going to use a flat angled brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that product. And again, we're going to follow that shadow that was already created right in there and we're going to drag it down. I don't like my nose contour to be too harsh. So now I'm just gonna take it and blend it out, girl. We're gonna blend it out. Then I'm gonna take it and blend it upward like that. like so a small brush method if that's too hard for you then girl you can always use a flat angled foundation brush for your nose contour and i'm gonna tell you what i mean in a second this brush is from ulta i love this brush i need a new one but i haven't been able to find it also if you see this video can y'all send me the number 14 flat angled brush foundation precision brush i need a new one so to blend out the contour, what you want to do is pat and you're going to blend going upward, okay? You're going to pat and you're going to blend going upward when it comes to your temple and your jaw. So you see we are patting. We are not dragging it in. If you want a softer contour method look, y'all let me know. I will drop that video. So to do the jawline, we're going to take it, pat it like so. Keep the head tilted over, All right? We're going to keep the head tilted over. I'm going to suck in the double chin and you're going to drag it down. Okay. And when it comes to the top, right? Do not blend going down. You're going to blend going backward. Blend going backward. And that's how you get a seamless, seamless contour blend. If you want to do the three, you can. You can drag it down like so. And then to do the reason why we have this flat angle. So now if you suck with your contour, you can take the what's left over, use that to blend it out. And basically this brush is going to do the work for you. Okay, so now you should pretty much have full coverage for your concealer under your eye. So if you want full coverage, use a brush and don't use a sponge. Me on an everyday basis, quick little glam I always go in with a sponge um, this sponge is dry and it's not wet if you use too much product you can wet the sponge and then tap it out and that's going to absorb some of that product which is going to make it a more of a natural blend however if you want medium to full coverage use a dry sponge if you want absolute full coverage because you need to be snatched girl use a brush but I'm going to use a sponge so I'm literally, you can tell, I am patting this in. I'm patting it in. I'm gonna take it, drag it out a little bit right there. You can take it, 
turn your nose over. Highlight. So now to highlight, I'm just going to keep it here in the inner spot right there. A little bit on my nose. Then I'm going to put a little bit right there. Pinch this sponge and I'm going to tap it in. I mainly just want to keep it here. When it comes to the nose, I'm going to just pinch and drag it down. If you want to use a brush, you can. And then I'm going to tap it in to blend it out. Now that that's blending out some, I'm now going to take my sponge, keep it pinch, and I'm going to pat this in. You can tell I'm not dragging it out. When you drag it out, it's going to illuminate your forehead. If you already have a big forehead, you don't need to drag it out. Just keep it in the center, girl. So the trick right here to get your makeup to last, girl, you want to set your makeup in between sessions. So now to set my face, I'm not going, you know what, I could set it. It's okay. I was going to say I'm not going to do it because literally I'm just doing this for y'all and then I'm going to wash my face off. I don't want to waste product, but what the hell? I'm already doing the video. So now I'm going to go in. This is where I go in, spray my face with Mario Podesco. And doing this in between sessions, that's going to help that makeup like literally just melt into the skin. And then it's also going to help your makeup last longer. So that Mario Podesco is a facial mist, which is going to give moisture, which is going to get rid of the powder and help everything melt into the skin. Now, once that dries down a little bit, you can then go in with a setting spray. Um, I like to use the Morphe Jumbo Continuous Prep and Setting Mist. Looks like this. Okay, set your face. Then you can go in with your translucent powders and set your face all over. So we're gonna let this dry down a little bit. If you have a fan, go ahead, use your fan. But I'm gonna use my Buttercup because I haven't used her in a minute. And I just started using her like a couple of days ago and I fell in love with her all over again. To set the under eye, I'm gonna take a makeup sponge. I'm gonna tap off that excess because I want a even application, right? Take some here because I don't want a ton of makeup under my eye. If your eye has started to crease already, take that same sponge, look down, okay? And you're going to pat that in. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And we are patting it in. Do not drag it. You want to pat it in to melt it into the skin. Do you see what it's done? So the makeup is set. Now I'm going to go in with a bronzer. So you can go in with the bronzer that you use for your eyeshadow. But lately for my bronzers, again, I told you I use the CoverGirl. And then I also use the Black Radiance Ebony Bronzer. If you are on a budget, girl, these bronzers are freaking gold. Do you hear me? They are gold. Hey, I give it up to all of the girls that's been doing this makeup stuff for the longest. Y'all don't realize all of the work that goes into this. My camera didn't gave out on me about two or three times now, okay? And your girl getting fed up, but I'm committed. I'm committed, this ain't easy. Like this video, like it, share it, subscribe. Because the work that's going into bringing this to life for y'all, my God today. Okay, so we set the under eyes using the Sasha Buttercup. Um, now I'm just gonna go in with this makeup translucent powder all over so before you apply 
any bronzer to set you're going to set your face all over okay girl so we set in all over with translucent powder I'm going to take this double dual brush oh I'm going to take the color beautiful bronze by black radiance tap off the excess and we just gonna pack girl again when you get to the forehead always remember you're going to blend backwards the jawline get that double chin I'm gonna take the other shade because this shade was more red versus this one is more of a cool brown and I'm going to use this to set my nose contour. I'm going to spray my Mario Podesco. There we go. Then we're going to set with Morphe. Okay, so now that that's pretty much set, I'm going to take no new product. We're going to just pat in the rest of that setting spray all of that good stuff now I'm going to take my face powder all over and I'm going to set my entire face with my uh, face powder and I'm using the Sephora powder I love this powder and we're going to tap that in girl It's okay if you go over your bronzer, your highlight, it's okay. But doing this will allow everything to blend seamlessly so it doesn't look like you have a mask on your face. Here, I now like to go in with my highlight. The highlighter that I have been loving lately has been the MAC highlight. It is the Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlight. She is absolutely stunning. It looks like this. If you do not have this, you can use the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. This highlight in this Juvia's Place Palette is absolutely stunning. Um, she is pretty bold though. So for typically for an everyday look, I love to use this. I'm going to apply it to that cheekbone right there. Do the other side. Hold your head over so you can find, find it. So I'm going to apply a little bit on the bridge of my nose. You don't want to drag it down, girl. You just want it up in there. Do not drag it down. Then we're going to apply it on the tip of my nose like so. Cupid's bow. If you want, you can apply a little bit under. Um, if you want more precise, you can apply a little bit under your brow. And you can also apply a little bit in your tear duct. Brown liner I love to use for my everyday is my Smashbox uh, Samutra. I believe that's how you pronounce it. When I say this it does not move, girl, she does not move. She's so good. However, I'm not going to use it because, baby, she is a pretty penny. Um, instead, I'm going to use this NYX brown lip liner that I have and it's going to do the job because I told y'all I'm taking this off once I get done. So my favorite mascara is Benefits Fan Fest, but again, girl, she is a pretty penny when I say she does not move. She does not move. You can cry in her and she's going to stay put. However, she's a pretty penny. 
but this mascara i absolutely love however girl do not shed one freaking tear because she gonna run down your face it is essence i love extreme of crazy volume mascara this mascara is really good it's so freaking good but again girl don't plan on shedding those tears in her um okay so there we go for mascara now lashes uh these lashes i am currently using right now they are from amazon I have officially transitioned over and if you want these lashes I will link them below for you guys I am more of a natural lash girl I don't do the bold crazy looking lashes um, it is not realistic I feel like the natural lash looks uh, so much better I see that glow do you see the glow do you do you see the glow like i'm giving y'all all the tea i'm giving you all of the tea there is no reason why nobody makeup should be bad because girl i'm giving you the tea like like this video share this video subscribe do you see this face come on y'all okay yeah so here we are probably like a three and a half to four hours later because in the middle of filming, my camera died again. And to be honest, I don't want to have to do this all over again. I will do it all over again. Just another day. Y'all have been down my neck about getting this video uploaded. So we're just going to we just going to use what we got to get what we want, okay? But pretty much this was the final look to my makeup. Um, the only thing that I can recall that I didn't get to show on camera was that once I get done setting like all of my face to do my under eye highlight I normally go in with a very light uh, foundation powder and then I will apply my highlight just right under here to brighten up that under eye area but again my camera died um i do have three batteries y'all bear with me i'm trying to figure this out this is completely different from just the standard ig videos and the tiktok videos i have to play around with this and figure this out but if y'all like what y'all saw so far you like this look you think this look is like extremely cute girl mm-hmm mm-hmm you know what to do honey i always know we don't gatekeep, okay? I'm gonna always get you out of tea. But don't forget to follow me, like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Your smile, your style, so fly. I can't deny, I got a crush on you. And that's true. I'm digging you, you make me believe